Gentlemen, welcome to the Mob Blood Podcast with myself, William Thompson. And myself, Paddy McDowell. Ah, I don't need to push. You wee slit. Oh, uh, how you doing, sir? Oh, good. How are you? I'm going to act like we haven't just recorded a full hour episode before. I know, this. I know. We're just <laughs> letting on. Lost Mary's really bad for you, by the way. Oh, they're fucking... I know. Really bad for I you. How many of them do you go through a day? One? Oh, no. Uh, one lasts me about three days. Oh, it's not too bad. I know somebody goes through one a day. Oh, you could easily, like... I've seen the Scottish government's looking to ban disposable vapes, and part of me is like, please do. Spartami? A Spartami? A wee Spartami is wanting to do it. Right? A Spartami? I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. A Spartami? We part of me wants them because I don't have the willpower to quit them. Oh. So make them illegal for me, please. Yes. Because I can't quit them. Yes. I'm. S- Yes. Every name is Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> never. That is, that is never. One of the best impressions you do. This fucking thing, I am telling you, it's fucking serious. <laughs> and never, ever, ever. I like that. I like that. I've been fucking been, mum. Good week. All good. All good. Just busy, busy. Even when you're not, even when you feel like you're not doing, like promo stuff has just been fucking mental. Yeah. Like I drove to Tipperary on Thursday. Why? To do the two Johnnies. How was that? I'm a Fucking that. great. Two brilliant fellas. Oh, absolutely. We have to have them on. Like, Yeah. But uh, fucking, they have a great setup, like a box machine and all. And like, it's like a. So everybody comes in and is like doing the lap and top gear. So you have to try and do the, the boxing machine, you know? All right. How'd, how'd you fire? I'm just, I, I, they give me four goals. <laughs> they give me four goals. Because they knew that I wasn't doing it right. Right. And they're like, are you tired? And I was like, a wee bit. And they're like, Give an hour, go. Give it an hour and do it properly. And then it was like, so I got eight sixty nine. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. Who, who was the highest on the nine, wall? Nine, nine, nine. Was, and I think it was somebody who was like a rugby player or something. I seen it on the board, like, but I was trying to work out the name, but I didn't understand. Are it. they comedians or are they just like No, they're just two hurlers. One used to make hurling, hurling sticks and the other one worked in Super Fighter, like a spar down too. Fuck. And, and they, he's fucking loving it now, like. Um, I mean. Oh yeah, they're fucking loaded. They're not making hurdles and working on super fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. I never I mean, say on. never because look at me, I end up in a spa fucking. <laughs> I can end, yeah, I can end up in super I could see you day. working in, I could see you working in the spa. I would not have I, You wouldn't work on the meat counter, like, but you would definitely, and you wouldn't stack sales. Nah. But they would have you collect trolleys. Wouldn't do tells either. They would have you collect Wouldn't collect that. trolleys. You want Donny to get them? You, yeah. you would definitely be... Um, I feel like we're on a kid's show. Who's Hi. at the door? Show Who's em. at the door? Who's at the door? Yes, where are you? You down the stairs? Hold on, Sean! Sean! <laughs> go, to, go to the big chimney. Okay. Go to the big chimney. <laughs> They're at the big chimney. They're not at Foster <laughs> Towers like I told them. He's away to the big chimney. He's coming down. He's ginger her and he looks like Scra- uh, Shaggy from uh, Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. All right. When you see him, just go, Hi, Scoop! <laughs> right, okay. So, that's I've never heard you sound so much like a da as when you just went, Sean! Sean! I was like, fuck. Get the fuck! <laughs> but yeah, though. Just took me back to my the childhood, two, though. The two Johnnies was fucking great. It really was. It was, um... It was well worth this fucking... How long is that drive? It was three, three hours, 47 minutes to Tipperary. And then it was five hours to Straban to then do two shows. Oh, <laughs> mate, that then, is... Then a two-hour drive home. Like, like, it was like over 100 mile in a day. That's stinking. That's not a 100 mile, 500 mile. I was going to say 100 miles, not yeah. that mile. That's stinking, like... Yeah. But it was well worth... Like, I get why you had to do it, but... Because of a gig in Dublin... I don't need yeah. to sell tickets. Yeah. And I want people down south to know who I am, so yeah. you have to do a bit of promo. Yeah. And also, if there's anywhere you can do two shows when you're tired... It's Straban. It's the boiler room, Straban. God damn, I love that fucking room. First one, I was a wee bit tired. The second one, I was like... Yeah, up for it. Fucking knock the cunt out of it. Yeah. Have you still got yourself in your... You've got your groove from Edinburgh? Yeah, still no, like d- that, that d- I genuinely have to say, it was like a ton, as we said before, pre-season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every gig. Yeah. Like, I'd done the Thunderdome on Saturday night. Yeah. Hmm. Was that with the, the Black Paddy? I love Black Paddy. I fucking love him. But he is... Please, people, put him in for a quick slot. Because he turned that, he turned that fucking gig into a fucking shit show. 
Right. And I love Black Paddy. I fucking love him. Yeah, but gone. when the open, yeah, we ever live, yeah. When the open makers are telling you you need to do open mix. <laughs> really? Jesus. Like the lads were telling them. And I felt sorry for the two boys because there was Justin Freeburn on. And I think he's a great act. Yeah, I like, I like Justin. And Pete was on. And Pete's pretty fucking sharp from Edinburgh. Yeah, yeah. Pete's on great. And the fucking were fighting in the audience and all. Like Black Paddy done 26 minutes at the start. And it, it wasn't like he was doing anything. I silenced. You come over to me, <laughs> Billy. <laughs> but it, it was just fucking mental. It was just... And then I said, tell him, I says... He was like, oh, you haven't seen me, man. I was in Strapan, I was the best act on, and I was going, you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking weren't. Was because, he all in Strapan? Yeah, he was on with them, guys. Here's me, you weren't. There's, there's no way, because I know the guys that's on. <laughs> Sit down, lads, what's oh, happening? Yeah, Put up a chair. Speaking of Strapan, two fucking hairs just landed yes. in here. <laughs> what's right, happening? Try, uh, get yourselves as far right as you can. I'll tell you that. As far right as we walk up here, I don't know what was going Challenge on. Challenge accepted. Oh, yeah, it's scary, isn't it? My kids hate it. They come in here and they think it's like the meat locker. <laughs> a romper room. A romper room. <laughs> yeah, we're joined by Jen, Silent Bob. What's happening, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Ruin and Boyle and Eamon McAwee. How are we doing, What's guys? happening? It's all good. All good. So, all good. yeah, so I was gigging with Black Paddy on Saturday night, and he'd done 26 minutes at the start, and I was like, I need to be away. I'm a babysitter. I need to fucking be away. And they were like, Oh, he's just, I mean, fucking just tell him. Hmm. And nobody wanted to tell him. What's so when he came off, I went, do half an hour? come here. And I says, fucking stop fucking about it. He was like, oh my man, you have no idea. I fucking love you. And he's hugging me and I go, I love you too, but you need to do more fucking stand up because you just think you can get up and do it. And he says, I am telling you stories about my travels. I mean, no, you're just reliving the videos that everybody's watched anyway. Uh-huh. It's not funny. You're, you need to have you need to have a fucking context to it. You need you know that. was brilliant? Paddy came to Strabane. Arrange for him. He says, that, you know what happened? Somebody says, is anybody in Strabane that could meet Paddy? And I was tagged. And he got in contact with him. And Paddy, he'll tell us story after us as a builder. But Hard to tell us. So Paddy, <laughs> Paddy lands and spends, he spends the whole day with him, brings him for something to eat, brings him for coffee. Because they send him. Dinner, no, everything. He says, be good. He says, Paddy's not, he's not a comedian, but he's, he's not a stand-up, but he's got some exposure online. So he says, it'll be great for me. Paddy's video came out and there was a sideburn of his just on the video. The whole I, time it was Paddy. No mention of me. It's just, like I wasn't there at all. Just, <laughs> just, at one point you can see his sideburn passing the fucking next <laughs> He turned around and he says, You had not see me in Japan. I was the best one. Everyone loved me. They did not want to listen to the other acts now. <laughs> McKegney. No, I actually... Me, and Roland. So, yeah, uh, I'm like, I actually got McKegney then because I was worried because I knew... I thought he didn't Stand up regular. I told you. You rang me. I, I love him. I love him. Because like, like, you told me as well. I was like, yes, ah. yes. I was like, but even even when he, I, I've been on him. But I said to him because I'm Adam in Belfast, and I says I'll get you on in the Empire doing an open spot. Uh-huh. And she had given the open spot, and I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, <laughs> fat. I did not know. I did not know. And he came off. He's like, "Wow, fuck <laughs> <laughs> me, man. Wow, I, I love you for giving me these a, opportunities. I'm such a big comedian now. Uh, Look uh, at me. I'm a penny. I'm a penny. I mean, I'm the fucking uh, what I'm most. I told him a joke before he went on stage, and it was his best joke. And he, he <laughs> and said, I went up and said it, and I killed. Remember the trucker box? Do you know, I, one? Do you know I went? You might remember well. me I'm from the side of a trucker box. It was a, it was a podcast night, and the, the crowd were up for high energy, and he has high energy. Oh he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He Absolutely. went on and yeah. he had a bit you know of what? Crack. It was, By the time the, the paddy came on, it was probably the, the crowd were ready for that because they were listening to stand up <laughs> and they were listening to the podcast. They're probably ready for him. Paddy, oh like, my yeah. god, here I come! Who? Aye, because McKenna had been on, then me. Aye, you had been I was on. MC in show. Yeah, you MC. And then, 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 then the, Paddy came on, kind of last. Aye, he was there. He's not even called Paddy. He's no one. It was meant to be you and Mickey, but Mickey in. Yeah, build Australia. He's David O'Donoghue. That's his name. What's, what's, what's I call some name? David Odomeo. He was, uh, and then it's Fabu D as well. Fabu D is a made-up character. We didn't hear what happened. To him. He, he was. Uh, Tell him what happened. So that day that I took him round, I I had arranged to meet him at the bus depot. He says, uh, the bus gets in at ten twenty-five. So I was like, right, no bar. I'll go down and meet you off the bus. And I got down and I was just going to join the car. We got down about ten past. I thought, I'll kill about ten. As you do, as you do, as you do. Your master. And uh, a bus came round at like ten seventeen. And I was like, fuck it, maybe the bus is early. 
So I, so I, so I got out, sparked up my joint, stood with and sure enough, a wee black guy with tight dreadlocks <laughs> got off the bus and was on a phone right away. And I was like, oh, that must be him. So I was like, Paddy, Paddy. And he didn't hear me, so I was like, you know, like that Alan Partridge scene where he's shouting at the man's name? Paddy, Paddy, Paddy. So what did he so get his attention? So they, did he get his attention? They sort of distinguished him from anybody else. I was like, <laughs> I ran across, I was like, Paddy, Black Paddy, Black Paddy. <laughs> And no, and other Just people, a wee racist other, man stone other, coming across the road. Other people had heard it and seen it, but he still wasn't paying attention. He was on the phone, so I went up to him. I was like, Paddy. And he kind of he looked up from the phone. I was like, Black Paddy. And then I realised it was not. I was like, Oh my God. I was like, I'm so sorry, man. Whole place and watching. Everybody else had and seen it. this guy go, Oh my God. I have that in my neck a week. <laughs> Everybody else has seen him just thought, oh, you horrible bastard. The next bus pulled in, Paddy walks out. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody sat there and started to catch on what would happen. Did, 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 did they realise then? They realised I had made a complete... Like, They're standing I'm outside your house. To see him. Outside his house the next day. <laughs> Here you are racist now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking belt her, mate. Belt her. Uh, so we the exit the, see, see, when you're saying that, like, shit like that happens in life. Hi. I got a phone call when I was doing the journey. I got a phone call from Miss Oudal, right? She was like, hi, yeah. I live two doors down from the butchers on the Stewartstown Road. I've got seven handles I need to fill at the doors. Just handles. Just need them changed over. I got them in the door store and I was like, right, okay. And I always used to pick like a wee job on a Saturday and I'd yeah. go, go do that there first thing. We had it we, we, I, And I'd bring an apprentice with me to show him. Yeah. So what I would do? No, he couldn't do it. He fucking one arm fucking. All right, just get to buy the fuck. You just get. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be at it. Yes, a joiner does you nine years, which activities. is two years more than a fucking doctor to become a doctor. So just think of that. All right, which is which sounds more impressive? CDBA. When does someone ever <laughs> collapse and someone goes, "Is there a joiner in?" <laughs> <laughs> See the door you walk through to see the fucking doctor? That was put up by a fucking joiner to kid, right? Fuck up. Right? I would rather, I'd rather have the doctor in the hospital. Yeah, so would I. Yeah. Well, uh, heart attack, hold on, and we got to... I've never heard of a joiner. I've never heard of a joiner killing 129 people, Harold Shipman, you know what I mean? Yeah, right, so anyway, this... Joiner only does me. it for nine years, but she's <laughs> off the course four times. Right, so this wee woman rings me, can you fit these handles? I was like, right, okay, here's as much as it going to be here with me 45 quid we'll be in and out in fucking 20 minutes picked the apprentice up brought him down fuck him and then changed all the handles and this wee woman but when we arrived I wrapped the door so the butchers is on the Stewartstown road here it's like a so there's a main road and then there's a road that leads down into Suffolk right so I looked at the butchers and went two doors up there's only two houses and then a library I went she's a nurse right? and then wrapped the door and the wee woman was like oh I didn't know you were coming today and I said no it's Saturday and she went alright come on in and I went in Changed all the handles and she handed me 60 quid and I went, look, I told you 45. She went, no, you definitely said 60. I said, no, I said 45, honestly. He says, no, we'll just take the 60 here. I'll give you another 10. I mean, no, you don't need to give me another. What I'm saying is you've given me too much already. I only said 45 <laughs> quid and she went, all right, well, whatever, just take the 60. We get in the van. I drop the apprentice off. Get in the house. My phone goes, are you not coming to fit my hand? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, how we woman's doting? That wee woman's dope. That's why I'm <laughs> looking. Well. And Andrew went, I mean, do you not do it? And I went, yeah. Uh, and Andrew's like, fuck's sake. And here's me. Look, I'm, I was going to football with my wee lad here. And she went, I know, but just to fit my hand, I said, how do I do this without being a cunt on the phone? Uh, and he me, listen, I'll call down on the way down. So I got the wee lad in the car and flew down to go to football. And I wrapped her door and I says, you're just on the phone now. And she went, what are you talking about? And I went, he said I didn't fit the handles and she went, you did fit my handles? And I went, <laughs> I right, so we're all good. And she went, yes. And I went, you sure? And she went, yes. I get into the car and my phone rings. And she goes, are you not coming to fit my handles? <laughs> and I went, hold on, you're two doors down from the butchers? Yes. On the Stewartstown Road? No. And then the Suffolk Drive. And I went, sure. And she went, yes. And I drove round <laughs> and two doors down from the butchers that way, I went in and that was the original one. That one there, All full I was so never many. fucking doing it. The stairs but like, how what was the chances? What is the chances uh, that, that she you went two handles? doors down from the butchers on the wrong side and she was getting handles done too? <laughs> 
<laughs> but it was like I thought the wee woman mental. was going. She was old. I hear me. This wee woman's going and see. Uh, she didn't realize uh, about the money. She thought it didn't do it. Then when I went back and she was like, I had a song similar where I was working. <laughs> it was one winter, and we got we were getting money fundraising for vulnerable people, poor over Christmas, elderly, all that. So I got money and I got like a hundred pounds. Sorry, poor elderly. I'm which one am I? We're pointing up at a table. So the poor and elderly. <laughs> the two lodgers that Willie has in his house. The two eighty-year-olds that he talks about that lives with them. Yes. No, he lives with them. He lives with this. I did the good of my heart. I let them live there. So I had ten addresses for a hundred pound de- or oil, heating oil for each one of them. Sent the boys out. Got the got the oil man. Sent them the addresses. Paid them. Way out. Same thing, a week later, where we're still waiting in the soil. It was, it was sent last week. I sent the wrong street. Everybody got three on. And the street I sent it, they're all fucking well off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bastards. I've been by Strabane terms. <laughs> hey, one of them had two cars. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Well, 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 and all the only one was stolen. Both the two Sorry, cars had four strike. wheels on them. <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> one of the cars was sworn. <laughs> they still had two cars. One of them was a matchbox, <laughs> but they still had two cars. Yeah, punch running water. I did see a house for sale. I seen a house for sale in Japan, like two hundred eighty thousand, and it was fucking huge. Oh, gorgeous! Like I, I, I got mine for like one hundred and ten. It's a four bedroom detached. Oh, but you don't work, don't you? Know? No. <laughs> Not <officially. laughs> <laughs> Only me, 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 what Great. do you think? Uh, Man, that second show you did was the best I've seen you. I said to Willie that it was yeah, really tired the first one. But I still thought it on our I thought you were red going into the second one. The, you, after the first one, your your eyes were fucking red in yeah. the, the fucking green room. Yeah. <laughs> there's a, there's a tune. I room. love when people go green rooms, you know, and you go into it and it's just a keg room. Or but a you know the, 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 the... The only green was in my bag. Pipe, <laughs> yeah. the, pipe, the flexible piping. You know of it, you work in yeah, sites, yeah. all that. Flexible well, that, pipe? I don't know. Well, that, goes to, that goes from the toilet. Conjure, conjure. And I've got a list of comedians now who's got the smell of shit. Right, okay. I didn't you, shake, by the way. I didn't shake. Get us to the cracker. One time. I didn't shake. A cracker where the it was just like, what the fuck? No one was t- people were talking about him. Do you know who he's one hands down? Kieran. Bartlett. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey or Kieran? Kieran oh, really? Good mom. Fair play. You he's a brass neck going on there. Like, there's a lovely big restaurant next door. It's nice. Where did I come in the rankings? Did you shade up her? I, I shade everywhere. This is the thing. I went in and had an Indian before. And I shit in there. Right. I literally had to leave my meal, by the way. Because <laughs> four girls come in from Sierra Leone, or Sam Mills, as we call it. And they did nothing but fucking torture the valley, you know what I mean? Uh, well, you're, uh, you can't eat when people are at you. And she was like, like, it was innuendos and stuff like that, but it was all fucking bit of crack. Uh, but I was like trying to stuff fucking chicken take it and they're fucking Paswami now uh, and fucking much about it because we're starving and they're looking at me so I was trying to eat behind a napkin and all and fucking that's why I left you Drew I hate people sitting that are not eating along me no, and you're just like I just thought you didn't want to pay for it <laughs> I just knew he get stung by fucking, he get stung, stung by black putty and that get stung by fat putty that's <laughs> <laughs> just big fat boy coming off the bus putty <laughs> my feelings are you funny fat putty Hey! 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 So, you know what? We're gigging. You're doing SS Arena now on Friday. Oh. And then you're straight under the crack theatre the next day? Yep. I think Mickey Bartlett did that too. I think he did the waterfront and then the next day had a. The thing about Cole Island is, my dad's adopted. And I found out that, like, all his family's from Cole Island. Well, I've half family. My granddad got married. My granddad was born in 1897. You're what? My granda. Your granda was born in the... 1897. Has he got a DeLorean? Still going? He's not alive now. <laughs> Has he got a DeLorean? Yeah, Has he got a tree? Is he called Doc? <laughs> 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 he's the flux a, capacitors he's, he's have a picture of him with the fucking the, the city hall being built I'll tell you how fucking old he is you're talking about him he's right you. here <laughs> I love that your grandma's tell you, born in France I'll tell you, I'll do you not get shit Mr. Bond for wearing red, white and blue no, no, no. Look, more so, more so, more so for home. walking about with a bit large cock in my chest. <laughs> 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 <Just there>. oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is true about my granddad. He, he said to me, and just to take me, auntie, William, 
the go painting because he's a painter. I thought you were going to say. They put her in the basket in the front the of his bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Was, was, that's what reminded me. But they said, listen, there's a. What age is your dad? My dad's, my dad's only 20 years older than me, but his, my granddad was 60. I didn't ask you what age you were. What age are you? He's 66. Your dad's 66, right? And your granddad was born in the other century. Mm. So 18. He, he was old. He's seen the partition come and. Not even the other century, the other, other century. That's yeah. the main like It's like. Uh, that's mad. That's how short. It's not even. Like, a lifetime. It's an art from a lifetime. But he was saying to me, Where was he says, born? Huh? Strabang. Strabang. He was actually, Nick, he was actually like you, a big I've seen Strabane, band. I've seen Straban nowadays. Could you imagine Straban in the back 18... Back when you didn't wear shoes. <laughs> it looks exact same. That was 1980s, we didn't wear shoes. <laughs> there was a bus pulled in, there was a carries pulled in, yeah. with a black guy, and there was a name in. Hi! <laughs> 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 you're right enough, it must have been like, like Donna Manna is now or something. <laughs> <laughs> Just some castle there. Post-apocalyptic Brexit right. wasteland. Could but you imagine? Right. <laughs> what my auntie was saying, she says, and my grandma said there, listen, there's a new technology they've come up in America. It's never going to fucking catch on. He was a painter, like. And my auntie says, what's it called? And he goes, a roller. <laughs> <laughs> that was the technology he says it'll never catch on how's it going to get in all the bumps because everything was made out of blicks but that, that's how old my fucking granddad was like. Jesus Christ Hi. he's older than Roller is he still if alive? you could show your granddad a Marvel movie is he his head alive? would fucking explode what even, did, when, what I, even when I'm thinking back to the what age was he when he died he was in his 80s his late 80s no. fucking so he, things, he died he's seen everything happen so he died in the oh, 80s. The, the two wars. Early no. 80s in the late 70s. Man on the moon. He was born in the 70s. JFK. Maybe died in 79. 78, 79. You're Ravney, fuck him, man. Fuck this. You see it? You're Ravney, man. Fuck this. And I was the fattest we in Strabane. Apparently there was nothing like me. Is that right? Just it was a circle. Just sat staring at you. Looked like fucking a fat fryer tuck. Just fucking my man cut my hair. Don't mean just... Looking fuck, at me. Came out, came out, came out of the Who is already fat? I don't know. Your grandma says. What do you call anybody in a suit park? His grandma says. His grandma says. His grandma says a roller would never take off and then he had one. <laughs> and then a roller was born. Fucking rolled out. That's how road bones were fucking invented. Ronan was born. That's a good idea. <laughs> Roll the chair down the road. Skittles, knocking over nurses. So you were massive as a chair. What were you? I think that they were my or some whoever was feeding me got the solutions wrong. We were meant to have like two f- fucking thirds water. And yeah, Hitler got third. them wrong too, yeah, didn't they? <laughs> Listen, I think it was all the way around. I never giving you burgers. You're like, oh, <laughs> ratios <laughs> off, miracle girl. <laughs> uh, melting down Mars bars when they feed me. <laughs> <laughs> I was clogging up. I just remember being a clog. He's supposed to have had a fair bit of meat. No, it was sugar sandwiches. Oh, fuck, do you remember him? Cheap. My granny made them fuck sugar me. sandwiches. I literally just rest. My granny used to come and visit us and give me. Sh- you know what her we present us was? Three sugar lumps and a hanky. Yeah. There you go. Say. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I will say nothing because that's bad. <laughs> you don't think I got teeth like us eating salad? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna give me three sugar lumps, you man. Sweet, sweet, sweet ass butter. Sweet sugar there's ass on it as well. What? what? Butter and sugar. Butter, and sugar. sugar. Yeah. Why does that as well? But we. I'd have butter. Sugar. Butter, but not sugar in a sandwich, no. Sugar sandwich? We just did a really? toast and everything. Yeah, loved yeah, sugar sandwich, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember doing toast one side because it was just the grill? You, yeah. You yeah, didn't yeah. bother flipping yeah. it. You just did the fucking... I prefer, like, I, cheese I, on toast, I prefer it when you do it in the grill. Yeah. yeah. So it's only toasted at one side. I, saw, I, I do So when you fold it over, then you've got a soft side. Yeah. That You'd love that, even because you've no teeth, too. too. <laughs> 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 you can just sit and suck on the bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you ever dump your toast into the tea? Oh, God. I tell you the best Never thing Never do it in public, your mouth is just... Don't do best that. thing ever, right? Twix, bite the top, bite the bottom, suck a warm TV off the... That's the, the, <laughs> the penguin you're meant to do it with. Oh, man. Fuck. Do it with the penguin, that's just... <laughs> meant to do it that's with. Head. That's like... It's on the... Yeah, it's on the... Shock of just, just, it's on the... It's on the rapper. You walk, just, you walk in the Roland's house, there's just him and a penguin sitting with two Twixes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm where, saying fuck off. Where'd you get the penguin? You can get off the bus. <laughs> What's his name? Black Patty? <laughs> That's what we're calling him. Whoa, Black Patty! Bam it down! The fucking penguin! Bam it down! Fuck it, do you that? ever butter a rich tea? Uh, I butter and a rich tea? Butter and jam on the digestive. That's good shit. Lovely. That is good shit. Lovely. Rich Peanut butter really sandwiches? Peanut, peanut butter and jelly, they call it in America? Peanut butter, peanut butter and lattice is nice. What? Yes. What the? Yes. 
I know people like dipping fucking McDonald's fries in the ice cream. You see that? Nah, I've okay. done that. Don't you get like the salt it. and the sugar. Don't like mm-hmm. it. Nah. And then you get bigger hips as well. Chocolate, yeah. a dairy milk dipped in the yogurt. Fucking what? Fucking Serious? what? Uh, is he the inventor of it? No, no, fucking, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> what did that? Fucking what? Doctor what? Fucking, fucking, what? Doctor what? fucking <laughs> what did you say? A dairy milk in the yogurt? In the yogurt? Oh. Ah. What yogurt? I don't know why you see it being. Oh, right, it's no, all screen. Fucking crunching up a flake and they're packing them a coys, cheese and onion. What? That's good shit, that's good shit. Unreal. Tato oh, cheese and onion. My best mate is just spitting the cheese and onion, so you wouldn't ask them for one school. Fine. Do you want that's, some? That's. that's like I still want to have it. Is that fun? For sure, that is. My next door neighbour is a cunt used to come out with like 10 digestive biscuits, lick the chocolate off them, then frisbee the biscuit. I'm just. Uh, I might mean. You know the fucking size of my face, just. <laughs> My mate was working on Translink on the like the city buses. He kept getting fucking no hijacked and all that shit. So his nerves was away. And they moved him to Ulster bus. They were like, listen, he was out in the sick for six months. And they were like, I'll bring it back in. We went back in. We're moving you to the Ulster bus. You'll be taking wee pensioners down to Newcastle. Great wee day out now. It's handy. No hassle. Get on the bus. We want to get on. Ah, okay, yes, son. You all right now? You dead on? You taking us to Newcastle? Yes, yes, yeah. Do you want a wee cup of tea of a flask here now? Ah, oh, she made a wee cup of tea and there's a couple of wee biscuits and all for you. Here was like, thanks very much. Down to Newcastle, we want to come back. Brought you a wee burger back here. Rock Jesus, thanks very much. Got a wee burger and all. Great wee woman. The whole way home, she was like, here, do you like peanuts? And he was like, ah. Oh. So he's driving the bus and he's putting his hand back. He's giving them peanuts. He's like, mossing them. They're driving down the road. He says, he went, she, she kept giving them these peanuts and he was going, here, listen, I'll eat all your peanuts on you. He looked after me and she went, I don't mind, I just like sucking the chocolate off him. <laughs> he near crashed the bus. He was out to sick for another six months. <laughs> oh, man, there was, a, there was a guy who had to be bad. <laughs> He was. He so says he was just hoping from Carrie W. Blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> oh fuck, that's so rough, man. Uh, there was a guy in Stripe. I don't even want to say it, but he was buying from all the pubs because he used to get the bacon fries and suck them. Do you remember him? Who? Hmm? Suck the bacon name. fries. Then snotted them and then put them back in the bag. Eat from the herd. Oh, scabby. Yeah, I'm a scabby hey, you don't want you don't want to know how he makes them. <laughs> oh. Scabby fries. Nice scabbies. What's what's your downfall? What foods? Um, probably probably a biscuit. I'm not a big crisp person. No. You, would you like open a packet and eat five, six? If it's Jaffa cakes. Ah, I'm, you do the, you the, the, the roux. I take the whole lot. What about you? You were in some neck a couple of years ago. I know. I Look know. at you now, you fat cunt. <laughs> I know, man. Let yourself go, man. I know. I look really at you let yourself home. go. I've, lo- I've, I've started to lose it again. We're getting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? I'm just eating less. Take, <laughs> he started taking drugs again because no. that puts you off. See if you cut out the sugar and the, that's it. Jemma, I, I have two meals a day. Time. I have two meals a day just drinking more water. And you were training like fuckbutt before, were you? I was over lockdown. I had nothing else to do. So you, but you, you can't fill the training now, do you think? I get it in when I can, but it's not, you know, you don't have the routine for it. Mm. I love it. But you can fucking... create that routine, it's not... Oh. No, I mean, my days are so sporadic. Like, now you know no why I days. boxed him, don't you? <laughs> Here, hey, oh, oh, oh. what's happening about the boxing? Is there another going to be an arnick? Apparently not. Apparently not. Somebody saying to me that's been talked about that's going to happen in February. I hear lost. I don't know. They just rang me up and go, you're a fading boy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you know the first time I ever heard of you was that you called me out? Was it? And I got fucking so annoyed about it. I was like, I don't even know where that's called. This. Do you know where I came <laughs> from? Who is it? Remember? I get so annoyed freak. about it. I was like, who the fuck is he? Do you know and who started that? Keezy? I know, because he hadn't got the balls to fuck. He he, <laughs> he called me out. Sore ankles, Keezy. He called me out and I went, I'm fucking. See when he done uh, it? I went, I fucking fed uh, you a cunt. And he was like, I was a boxer. No, I mean, I don't give a fuck. Uh, I fed you anyway. And then, then he had sore ankles. And then he was like, oh, I can't fit. No, I'm sore ankles. Too busy growing weed. <laughs> <laughs> just in his garden. I don't, I'm not a fighter no more. Munchies just. <laughs> Casey fucking racked me in Edinburgh one year. Like, I had went oh. over to Edinburgh to do like four or five days. And I fucking met Casey. And he was like, do you want to meet in the morning and get a coffee? And we'll put a battle plan of gigs. And I was like, yeah. And we met in the Royal Mail. And he went, here, take a toke out. And I went... Jesus Christ I left my iPhone It was like I thought you were going to see The first iPhone No I did (laughs) But I left my iPhone On the table In Starbucks On the fucking Where you get the sugar and all I left it sitting there And I walked out And found a bit of grass Which I thought was a massive Big field Right It was a one wee tiny verge On the side of a road And I woke up Seven hours later 
What? I was out of it. I was fell like, asleep. I was, I was no, no. Like I was just fucking. Man. I was looking to the sky and the sky. See even as, as, oh. see even if you're standing beside him, you'll get fucking hit with. No, honestly, I'd never had anything like that. Two, what, two experience. Uh, I had a, a liar. I had stuff crying. that was growing face tanks in America, and a Jack Russell was talking to me for a fucking hour. <laughs> I went a to Jack tour, Russell I went was talking to me for an hour, I and I was going. <laughs> And the dog's going, oh, could you get are you not the talking pitch? back? Are you not talking back and all that? I'm going, what the fuck? Right? And then I'm just looking at the dog and the dog was talking and talking. And then it hit me a slap. And when it hit me a slap and I looked, it was my brother. <laughs> he wasn't, it was, his dog was sitting on the ground, but I was seeing him as the fucking dog. Like I was spitting. It's like, out. it must have been mushrooms or something. That's no, it was fucking serious. It was growing fucking fish tanks. Fucking serious shit. I've never had anything like that, man. I, there must be more fucking than just normal. Yeah, I, man. Like? I don't know. For fuck's sake, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I good. Sa- <laughs> I thought a Jack Russell was sitting beside me talking, slapping it up. Fucking cunt. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> you, you're fond of living on smoke, aren't you, Eamon? I love it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you said that like, like I'm trying to get you to quit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> when, when did you have your first talk? He doesn't get on stage without us. I'd be the, probably, I would cry, pro- man. Probably when I was about 18. Probably when I was about 18. <laughs> That's a late starter. Like. And it was a real come to Jesus moment. <laughs> And I thought, this is the this is the future, this is, this is me, this is... Yeah. This is it. And it kind of fits my personality, because, like, I, I, I'd have been out drinking at that point and all too, and, like, I, I'm not a big dude, man, and drink, drink, drink's not an agreeable thing for me, you know what no, I mean? We're not nice to be comfortable drinking, eh? Aye. Aye. You can tell. Poor man, you can tell. The wee man should be all right, and he's out. Come on, the fuck? That's what I always say. But you ever notice, boys, it's a good bitch. You get the small bouncers, and I'm going, what he's doing? Yeah, they're the scary guys. They're the boys that are either the boss, an expert at every martial art that ever happened, <laughs> and got bullied all their life, and they're not in the farm for taking shit. <laughs> I was doing the door rest time, right? Jesus and everybody was Christ. over 6'3", huh. and this guy was giving me fucking complete shit, mm. and the doormen were laughing, right? And the guy was like, what are you just laughing about? And they were like, he just doesn't have a lead on. He's our pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> he will fucking completely eat you. The like, don't fucking... There's always a wee boy pointing at the big boys. Always. Fucking get over but there. I have, fucking... But I, I've had that in me. I've always... Do you want to know told, where I was, but... I was always told go for the big ones because the big ones don't expect it. Exactly. But see, even being a big fella all your life, you don't get challenged. No. So when, yeah. you, so see when challenge comes to them, they don't handle it well. Sometimes they don't know what to do. And especially when somebody's drunk, don't care who they're challenging. So the big boys, yeah, I see big boys that you thought would be fair nobody, all like, what the fuck? Do you know, you ba- know the smaller boy that's used to the fucking rough and tumble? Sort of like stand up. Ball and the Mallard, do you know where? Ball and the Mallard. Aye. Their rugby team came to Belfast, right? Mm. And we were on Thompson's Guys. Thompson's rugby team. Right? So they all came, fucking 50 of them on a bus, coach. And they were in Thompson's Guys, all fucking huge, right? I hadn't even noticed them. But I went down the stairs and I was well known amongst my mates. Like, I was the one. It's just shit went right. down, I was the one. Mm. You, so could talk, you could talk. And that was a lot of doormen that don't know how but to But I wasn't the on the door, thing. I was out with my mates. A massive bit of doormen on really? it? No, 100%. That's what it's all about. It's all about It's not talking. about fighting, it's about it's talking. all about talking. But I came up the stairs and the big doorman and the fucking Thompsons, me and him actually had a boxing match before, big Kono. And I came up the stairs and he cool. grabbed me and he went, listen, there's a guy up there. Nah. There's 52 of a rugby team, and there's only fucking five of us in the door. <laughs> Do not hit this cunt. And I went, why would I hit him? Mm. And he went, he's already started in your mates. And I went, what? And he went, <laughs> <laughs> now listen, this guy, do you ever watch Stir Crazy? Mm. Yeah. Do you ever Brilliant. see the guy with the baldy head and yeah. the fucking, what do they call him, fucking... Either. When they're going down, Thorn, going, I'm bad. The big You're fat bad, guy, right? Brilliant. You know the big fat he guy with in, the baldy head? He was in Running Man as well. He was in, yeah. The light bulb. So him there, right? The big heavy cunt, right? Yeah. This guy was six foot fucking three. He was just fat as fuck. No neck. Aye. Just a fucking big head, right? He was fucking huge. But he was just pushing people. He was just starting like that. And he had pushed my mates out of the road. Yeah. So they went, and then big Conan went over, and your mum was like fucking... So Conan was going, look, we're watching him, but we're trying to talk to the rugby team. Because if we go in and grab him... Could be a free throw. 52 of them, we're not going to be able to control it. There was a big Polish fella working at the door in Thompson's, like fucking seven foot crossing this edge. So he's just standing waiting. (laughs) (laughs) So Kono was like, listen, do not start. We're all up the stairs. We get them down the stairs. So we're trying to take some of them out at a time and then we'll take him out. And I was like, look at the size of him. 
I am not going to approach him. Mm. He's fucking huge. And Conan went, please don't. If he comes over there, don't do anything to me. I'm staying away right. the fuck from him. He's fucking huge, right? So I literally walked past him, went over and stood with my back to him, away over in the corner. And I lifted my bottle of beer and I seen my mate's face going. Mm. And I knew it was coming. And I just felt the big shove in the back. And he was me, fuck. And I turned around and he's standing right at me. And he'd fucking just pushed me. And I went, what the fuck am I going to do? Like, he's what was right his problem? What was he it? was just a prick, right? Yeah. He was just a prick yeah. and he yeah. got drank in him. I think what happened was they were out all day at the Ulster right match. Around. This is at one like o'clock in the morning, place. right? Yeah. And he was just out of it, right? So I put my bottle like that and he fucking pushed me again. And my hand went into the fucking, like, another wee work top thing. Yeah. And I heard it and I went, you fucking cunt. And I went like that and I seen him putting his face down. Like there. And I'm a fucking, and I just fucking, from the fucking bottom, spun, and I fucking right in this fucking jaw, right? And he went, right, he went flying back, and I'm like, fall, fall, fall. Please. Fall. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't, he went, and I went, fuck. So I went, and I got my shirt off, and I was like, come on, come on, that fuck. Right? And he's like, he's just standing there. Next minute, the fucking bouncers fucking land on top of me. Pull me out. My mates pull me up the alleyway. We get in the taxi. We're driving up the ground the road and my mates like, listen to this. And I hear, <laughs> your mom was pulling seven peelers up the, see when he clicked, Aye. right? And what happened was my mates get talking to the rugby team and they were saying, he's been that size from he's 12. <laughs> no one ever fucking Aye. has done anything to him because he says him. And they says, what fucking basically happened was, you hit him or he didn't know what to do. He was going, what the fuck's this? This is the first time it's ever happened. <laughs> and, and plus a wee tiny cut. It was more of a shock. Than it was more of a shock, but see, once he clicked, then Probably he was isn't. trying to find me. So they got the Peters down, they were fucking teasing him. He was fucking <laughs> pulling sand. But they were all saying he's a fucking prick. We were glad he hit him. That was, a, we, that was a... He did kick me up the arse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were teasing him. But see if he had a got me. The, the boy says, see if he had a got you. He had a fucking squeeze in the Aye. death. Do you know oh, what I mean? Yeah. But it was just one of the moments and then they got me off There's the you two not thinking. Do you know what I mean? I'm the same when I had the drink in the what's out. Just but I had already all, said, it all sounds like a great idea, doesn't it? But I had already said to myself I wasn't going to do anything. But once he was over at me and then he put his face there, I went, I could knock him out. Cut him. <laughs> just bounced off his face. He literally <laughs> fucking floated back, man. Right? But it was fucking funny. It was funny. I'm not much of a dickhead when I drank. I'd be like, oh, I believe I fell into your hand there, sir. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> You're all good, miss. Apologies. <laughs> 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 What were you like in the drink? Are you a bit of a bastard? Or? It depends what I'd have been drinking. Like back in the, like, vodka would have been not good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but now I've kind of flipped the other way because my wife's Polish. And now I, I drink Polish exclusively drink. vodka. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, like if I go to Poland, it's like raw vodka all oh, the time. That's all they drink. That's pretty much all they drink. Like, if once I, you get used to it, but you're all right. It's actually really smooth. The thing and, about and they're eating all the time. First two or three. And you, 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 you cleanse your palate. Aye. That... But I've told a story before, like they drink raki and fucking turkey, like, and I thought it was vodka one time and knocked it, and it was a fucking full glass of raki that was defeated for the whole day. <laughs> he was there, do you remember, Sean? Yeah. I was fucking, I was, it, see the next two days, every time I took a drink of water, I was drunk again. I, I did that one morning, my mum was, co- was going to a wedding, and there was a, there was a bottle of Ballygowan in the fridge, and I, I, I woke up with a hangover at like eight in the morning kind of thing, came down the stairs. Went in the fridge, seen this bot- bottle of ballet going for a lot of cold water, this would be lovely. Open it, Rob McCarty. Oh! Ah. You oh. sounded like you said Mark McCarty there. <laughs> <laughs> I've sort of, sort of been sucking Mark McCarty. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought you were a two liter, sir. <laughs> I thought you were Bally Goon. What there you were? <laughs> Not stopping drinking it, but you're like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Mark McCarty just as Bally Goon water. I've heard, heard of Deep River Rattling, but that's a bit stupid. Fuck me. But well, vodka, I stay away from the vodka. But no, it's vodka yeah. only. Oh, vodka, vodka. See, the last time I drank a good sess of vodka, this is not a word of lie. I, I, was, I, would, no, I was in the house. I think I might have been over COVID. And I went, I fell asleep on the sofa. I remember falling asleep on the sofa. And then I woke up the next morning. And you ever just know something happened or... Wasn't good. And I got up, mm. looked in the mirror, and I had a fucking I know proper haircut. I normally because I'm in a fucking cell. Like, I had a proper haircut where it was like I was at a barber's. And I was like, what the fuck? I didn't know what, how... Then I got a text from a mate who's a barber, lives down the Strabane town. You went to his house? I stove him, jumped on the Wayne's bicycle, freewheel down the fucking hill. Went down to his house, he said a photo of me getting his, my haircut, he's got the whole thing set up. 
Got my hair cut at like three in the morning, and then he sent me home in a taxi, went back to the sofa, fell asleep. I, and I just woke up and you haircut that I was like, what? I, 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 I got drunk one time, got my head shaved, which was a bad idea. <laughs> I, I looked like a poster boy for an AIDS charity in the 80s. <laughs> Only if I only if I had AIDS in the 80s, I'd like to think I was more kind of a botched blood transfusion <laughs> than a careless whisper of an evening with a man named Wan. <laughs> someone someone saw you with shaved head and went, that would make a good movie. Uh, and I am legend. Sh- Sinner's <laughs> list. <laughs> My favourite bit that you do is the bit about you going on your honeymoon. I uh. I like we got married in Poland and and I had a load of family over for the wedding. We asked them, do you want to see somewhere in Poland the day after the, the, the wedding kind of thing? And they all come back and says, Auschwitz. So from the happiest day of my life to the saddest place on earth with the worst hangover <laughs> I've ever fucking had. <laughs> like, yeah. I, was get, I, I had to get up at 5.30 and we were getting transported across the sleeping Polish country, countryside <laughs> on, on our way to the final solution. <laughs> look at fucking me. <laughs> I look like I was getting into character. I thought he was an extra. <laughs> I'm not hanging with a bus with a Japanese. They're trying to give you your shoes back because you arrived. Somebody loses your hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plus you're from Strabane, so you're standing like you're from Strabane. You want those teeth back? What the fuck do you do with my teeth? Do you, you, were, think... you were walking with people like, fuck, it's haunted. <laughs> do you think those guys on the wall look better than me? So they have fat cunts. <laughs> Lucky bastards! <laughs> you got your own teeth! <laughs> Fucked your well fed man today, were not <laughs> Jesus Christ. You have your own teeth! People come up and go, where are you from? These extra bands are like, don't go with <laughs> <laughs> Are you poor bastards? Some of the Protestants are sending all the Catholics now. <laughs> oh, man. The trains are sending all the Hologram of the Holocaust, eh? I have never done that tour because I just know it's going to be depressing. The first time I did it, see, I, I, what do you mean? You've done it again? I did it twice. Give you a warning. Like it's a, <laughs> like it's a small world. The we went back with a ton cup this time. <laughs> you get a fifty percent off coupon to go back a second time. The, the first time I went, like I, I'm kind of fascinated in the whole kind of. I wasn't kind of sort of, oh, it's awful You're what happened right? here. I, I was like, Jesus, like Mangla was in this room. I, I was very fascinated in the dark kind of way about it. Shouldn't say this on a yeah. podcast, Michael. We'll kind of, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll kind of, we'll We've got a swastika <laughs> flying from his house. I get what you mean. I, I would I, be, I, yes, I, like, I, stuff I, like that, I like do when, be when interested I, you in. See, when I go to I'd Poland, be more interested in why the fuck I wanted to do See, when I go to like. Poland when I was in Auschwitz, or even when we go to the countryside or whatever, I'm walking about like some kind of fucking, I don't know, jive, uh, fucking pigeon-headed fucking... <laughs> Are they fucking looking for fucking Nazi coins or fucking? They might have dropped something here. They might have fucking dropped something here. I'm a fucking idiot. Poland. Like, aye, and Slovakia and over there in Slovakia and over the summer. Slovakia as well. is just in between Castle Derg and. The Slovakians. So it's, uh, <coughs> used to be a part of the USSR. <laughs> and, and and so that first time I went, I, I was kind of like more fascinated from the whole Nazi perspective and and. and not very sort of sympathetic to what what had actually went on the second time I went. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> you used to, you used to go home in a bar. <laughs> the, but the second time I went, keep I was, quiet, hung, I was hung over after the wedding. And it just kind of, maybe it was just overwhelming everything. Like I was hung over and the, it just kind of had me a bit You're more in a sadness. But right. I think it was more kind of sad self-pity. <laughs> I also love someone going to you, how's the honeymoon? And you're like, I'm not sympathetic to the Nazis. <laughs> I'm just fascinated by them. <laughs> Didn't they dress awful well? That's an out. <laughs> yeah. In fairness, they dress awful well. Oh, they, they did? They did? Who 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 did? Did you ever see the fucking the trucks train they do their match? The they were colour party and they're all fucking looking at each other. Like, did you ever see the coolest bad match? guys? Did you ever see Kenny? William, William, William had, was born into a family that liked the march and yeah. he couldn't do it. We were strong Nazi. He family. couldn't do it. <laughs> couldn't so do the march? Yeah. See, he was the wee orange man even up until he was 14 was in a push along. <laughs> <laughs> Sit on fucking one of them suitcases. You right, on. Long, right long luggage. <laughs> Just fucking Willie at the back of the train in the cozy car. <laughs> see, uh, see, see, I'm, I'm in the rack. I'm the first orange man to do the walk in Healy's. I was the first one. <laughs> Just gliding the whole way. And we used to do the Republican marches going Skip through Strand, but it was always the, the shooting at the end. <laughs> they never got it right. It was always jamming guns and all. What the fuck? It's never fucking. No way they do property. 
So these boys were like, what the fuck? So why are we doing that? You've done that before, Rob. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Child of the Troubles. <laughs> what are we on there, Sean? 46. So we'll do five more now. We'll have to wrap it yep, up. Yeah, we'll have to wrap it up. All right. So, have you anything to plug? Yeah, before we go. Do you know what? I'm doing a wee tour this month. Say it into the camera. And forget the dates. Because <laughs> that's the type of guy. <laughs> Seize so the moment, Ronan. Do you know what I'm doing? He took the whole way from Straban to Belfast to promote it, and then he's like, oh, fuck, wait. Straban sold out. I think that's it. Let me check the dates. So in between times, I'm going to be support on Ronan's show whenever it is. I will then have my own show in October. We've got uh, Orange is the New Green, the play that we're in as well. We're, we're, we're doing a, a play. Uh I've done the hour special previously and I'll be popping up at various venues throughout the Auschwitz. North. You, where Auschwitz. are you doing your own? Doing it, doing so it. Doing 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 it. Even Michael Wee. Oh, the crowd work would the be boys, brutal. What made you come here tonight? The Nazis? <laughs> the straight to pajamas. <laughs> I was just following orders. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if you want to see me and Eamon, he's support for me on the wee tour. I'm doing his big massive wee tour. I've sold out Straban, but the 21st and the brickwork. Uh-huh. And Dara? We're doing there tomorrow. Uh-huh. We're actually doing the next three. No, Brickwork and crack. Then yep. you're doing SCS. No crack as a theatre, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing brickwork have and you crack. Got, uh, and like, have you got all your VIPs handed out for us, Friday? Just. And then on the 24th. <laughs> <What's this? laughs> Dusty in here, apparently. No, that's just, what, that's whenever like. Whenever it's like. You know. You know well, it's sort of like. Sort, sort me out. Oh, what gear? What's that? No, mean? no, just like, you know, Looking it's like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No, I'm in gear. Back to <laughs> he, he, he means passes, I'm in gear. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, He's got to do some NDA, go to that show. So now I'm doing uh, dailies on the 24th. Yep. I've got enough tickets sold now to fill the green room. That was actually good. I opened for you. Oh, yeah, it was, it was great. Good. Great crack. You know, I'd rather have that tape filled. Going back a couple of minutes ago, you've opened up a few times. That's fucking right. <laughs> and then I'm doing the, the American Bar on the, 20, the 1st of October. Just is that in Belfast? That's in Belfast. Is American right? Bar. So, check the boys out. As I say, I've been gigging with them now for, I'd say, the past... Couple of years. Yeah, a couple of years. Mm-hmm. I'm fucking really impressed with the two of them. They've both came, done tour support and whatever with me and yeah. been all around. So... Check the guys out. Absolutely fucking brilliant. Can't wait to get them in for me as well. Ulster yeah. Hall, we're down to the last 50 or so tickets, so get them while you fucking can. And this is going out on Friday at what time? Um, About five or six. Six o'clock. By the time they watch it, seven o'clock, you've literally got five minutes to get done. Rum. Yeah, Rule yeah, boys. You may, Rule there's a couple of tickets left. Social, you get um, I'm doing Dublin on the 17th of September. In the Laughter Lounge, I'm doing the 30th of September, the Leicester Square Theatre in London. Tickets are flying out. Glasgow on the 1st of October, literally down to the last fucking 20 tickets, so in the glee. So have you, have you got Linktree? Have I got Linktree? Get that, because every you do, oh you do? Yes. Because it's just easy to say, get on my Linktree. And Somebody from Shaban telling me about technology. Technologies. Whose granda says that rollers <laughs> would never take off. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? It's my spur of animal. It's you. And here, there's no way, because he's, he's, up, he's up at four o'clock this morning and he's been on Q Radio with <laughs> someone dead. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Are we not the Nazis again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See when the Nardis all talk at the one time, they can't understand a thing. Right, we have had a great Free show. Tattoos, Thank you, lads, right. for coming the whole way down. Thanks great to have us down. And uh, I've been Paddy McDowell, William Thompson. Nice. See you later, guys. All right, lads. Thank you. Thank you. When you go